Vin hit us up. And he said, do you see actual title contenders in the Pac-12 this year or just a lot of pretty good teams from Bellevue, Washington? Let me reiterate for added effect. What he just asked is basically, are there teams out on the West Coast that if things came together this year could win a title? And I think there are. I just need one. So, so we're not doing a, an entire Pac-12 preview video or anything. But out of the Pac-12... Is there collectively a team that conference could spit out that all of a sudden just just wins a title? Um, I think there at least is that in the cards because I love the I love the deck of quarterbacks out there to use the card metaphor. Bo Nix coming back for that conference is a really big deal, really big deal for Oregon, really big deal for the conference. Caleb Williams at USC has to play another year, obviously, really big deal. Michael Penix is back at Washington, one of the best stories in college football last year. Cam Rising, Jesse's doppelganger, back at Utah again for his, he is basically the Sean Clifford of the Pac-12 now, and DJ Uyangalale. What? He plays at Clemson. No, he doesn't. He plays at Oregon State now. Welcome back. For those of you who tuned out and are just coming back for spring football, DJU was on the move while you were away, and he is in Corvallis now. You also have that. So, so quarterback's the most important position in the sport. There's some good ones out there. I'm not even mentioning guys like Dante Moore at UCLA, uh, Cam Ward in year two at Washington State, Deloria down at Arizona, because those probably, probably are not teams that would be capable of making the playoff even with good quarterback play. I reserve the right to change my mind on that because I certainly didn't see TCU coming last year. But think about the coaches out there that are entering year two. Three of the big ones, th- three lead teams that are among the favorites odds wise to win the conference. Kalen DeBoer at Washington's out there. He's still just really early into his tenure. Dan Lanning at Oregon, uh, Lincoln Riley down at USC. And you've also got guys that have been there a little bit longer. Jonathan Smith's got a really good thing going on at Oregon state. Chip Kelly at UCLA. I've spoken at length recently about how I just think the sport's kind of coming to Chip Kelly, a guy who was never known as a prolific recruiter all of a sudden lives in a world where You don't have to tear it up in recruiting. You can work the NIL game, firstly. And secondly, you can work the transfer portal. And that's what they did last year. And that's what they've done again this year. And that's what I think they'll continue to do. And Chip Kelly's right place, right time here. Also, uh, you know, Kyle Whittingham's still out there. I always save him for last because I know how much he loves being saved for last and how much he loves being overlooked. So why not feed into it at this point? Something isn't something until it is something. And that's a quote, especially for our younger audience, that I want you to take and I want you to bottle it up. I just want you to drop that on someone this week. Something isn't something until it is something. Just blow someone's mind. Alabama used to be bad. Did you know that? If you're in our younger audience, you did not know that. They used to be bad. Then they weren't anymore. Clemson, once upon a time, was not a national power. Then they were. Georgia, was incapable, according to some, of winning a title. Then all of a sudden they won two of them in a row. Something's not happening until it's happening. The Pac-12, not capable of winning a title, according to many. There's a good reason for you to feel that way, because they haven't come close. Haven't had a playoff team, what, since the Washington year? And it's just, it's, it's been a very, very barren landscape out there. It will change. Could change this year. Whomst knows. Now, we're asking if a team can win a title, or be a contender for a title instead of just being a contender for the playoff. And when we expand the playoff, of course, they'll get more in. But I'm looking at it through the lens of just that, that finer-tuned four-team model while I can. And you just need one. Lincoln Riley's going to get there. I don't know if it's this year, but he's going to get there. Lanning and Oregon are going to get there. Don't know if it's this year, but they're going to get there. And then as I use those as the first two, sure enough, in Utah, you could say, Didn't we just beat both of those teams in consecutive years in the Pac-12 championship game? And then Washington could look and say, you know, we we fared pretty well this year too. Are you you forgetting about us? No, I'm not forgetting about you. I just have to mention someone first and someone second. So yeah, I think it could happen. Also, it could also it could also be the case that no one makes it again. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Not just for me, that's how we keep this entire thing free.